Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Judy Racer on the BBC Micro. And this is a game request by Rufal Soft Games on YouTube. All right, so so this was a look and read. If you remember look and read when days when we was at primary school when um, you felt excited because you go to the television room to watch an episode of look and read yes right and you get that wordy character hovering about yeah I think we all remember that if you lived in the early 80s of course maybe the late 70s oh I remember it was in the early 80s yeah when I was at primary school have you played this before well I've had a test run of it but we'll just push no there's wordy hello my name is wordy we knew that this sign means the space bar try it now okay push space bar so I've got to imagine myself being seven or eight years old again okay now great times I don't mind right if you need help at any time just push the escape key well my voice wouldn't sound like this because my balls would have dropped <laughs> anyway we're not going into that um try it now on this escape right if you need help push by escape key I oh, didn't sound like that right try it now okay good I can help with the problems you will meet in this adventure if you get stuck or don't know what to do just push the escape key and I'll pop up okay nothing else will right okay when you have a choice use a space to choose and the return key to confirm your choice try it now move wordy hide wordy right, right. okay continue so we've established the space bar and the return and the escape key we know what they do good you start with a pigeon race and later you have to run a race yourself well that sounds exciting doesn't it you also have to catch a crook called Baz <laughs> oh dear first choose your pigeon this gets exciting doesn't it my name is Star I am brave my name is Homer and I'm fat no that's fast I'm thinking of Homer Simpson my name is Bona and a bony and I'm strong right so so I have the brave one the fast one or the strong one let's have the let's pick home let's pick the fast one Homer thanks for choosing me I am fast but also fussy bastard feed me in the order I like bastard right orange orange <laughs> grapes ice cream nuts yes I am um honey and meat right so what would it like first I don't know let's give it some ice cream no thank you not that bastard right oranges grapes what about nuts oh fuck you um meat oh fuck off then well, let's give it some oranges no oh, did I pick that I can't remember why don't you choose yourself grapes oh ice cream I can't remember what I picked now. Right, maybe honey. Yay! Oh, I know what you got to do. You got to spell out the name. Do you? No. Home. I N G. Homing. Ah, that's what you do. That's what you do. Okay. Homing. Because it's a homing pigeon. very nice thank you now I'm ready to fly with all that fucking food I wouldn't even get off the fucking ground I have to take a large shit before you fucking take off and I'll probably be the bastard that fucking shits on my head this is beastly Baz Baz men what Baz's men steal things and hide them for Baz to collect later your pigeon must find the stolen thing before Baz does 
Ready! Steady! Fly! You are flying well! Where do you want to go? The cloud or the house? Uh, let's go to the cloud, I guess. Oh, what's happened? Oops! Struck by lightning! Try again. Oh dear. Where do you want to fly? Let's fly to the house then. What part of the house? The garden, the roof or the chimney? Let's go to the garden. Probably get eaten by a cat. Oh dear, caught by, caught by Baz. Here's a pigeon fancier. He's a, pin, he's a pigeon fancier. Dirty bastard. Can you fuck a pigeon? Never tried. Right, try again. Right, where do you want to go? The house. Right, let's go to the roof. There's a hole in the roof. Do you want to fly in? Okay, let's fly in. Well done. You have found a pendant in the attic. Hard luck, Baz. Where do you want to go next? Cabbages or TV mast? Let's go to the TV mast. Oh, I got zapped in the arse. Oops, struck by lightning again. Right, okay. Right, ah, we've got to do all this bullshit all over again, do we? House. Let's go to the chimney. Ah, oh, bollocks. Struck by lightning. How many fucking times do I... Right, let's go to the house. Let's go to the roof. Flying, yes. So we've got the pendant. So let's go to the cabbages. Oh dear, cool. Oh, blood. You've got to do this all over again. So you've got to remember. Right, go to the house. Go to the roof. Yes. So, so go to the TV mast. Maybe the middle this time. Well done. You have found the ring. Hard luck, Baz. Right. Where do you want to go next? Tree or hawk's nest? The hungry hawks hear the baby hawks squeaking. It comes back. Oops, eaten by the hawk. Try again. Oh, come on! So you got to go through all this again. So we know house, roof. Yes. Right, then we go TV mast, middle. Then we gotta to go to the tree. Tree. Oh, what do we do? The top part or the bottom part? Let's try the bottom. Choose something for the baby hawks. Bread, corn, or dead mouse. I don't know, what do they eat? Uh I don't know, corn. Quick! Off the hawk's nest, give the babies some food and stop them squeaking. Oh no, baby hawks don't eat corn. They squeak loudly, they're hungry or oh, fuck it out. Ignore that, it's nothing to do with the game. Oh, this is getting quite repetitive now. House, roof. I wish you wouldn't have to keep replaying this fucking shit. Yes. It's getting quite annoying. Right, TV mast, middle. Right, let's go to the tree. Bottom. Bread. Right, let's try bread. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, they don't eat. Oh, fuck you. So I'm going to have to go through all that bullshit all over again now. Right, where do you want to go? House, roof. Uh, yes. And we go to the TV mast. Middle. 
So it's a dead mouse, we have to go. So. Tree. Bottom. Dead mouse. Quick, off to the next and give the hawk some food, right. Baby hawks think the dead mouse is delicious. They are quiet. Well done. You found a, a bracelet in the nest. Hard luck, Baz. Thank God we've finally got off that. It is dark and you are lost. The light will lead you home. You must choose the right direction to reach each light. Right, north. Right. North east. So east then. Well done. Which way is the next light? Well, that's north. West. All right, north again. No, it ain't. What am I talking about? Southwest. Right, so east, right, um, northeast, um, east, oh shit, what am I doing? East, um, south. And west. Oh, I fucking dot the fucking dot. Join the dots, or whatever. Fucking hell. Right, so then we gotta go north east. Phew! Home at last. That was exciting, wasn't it? What was that? A bus? No, it ain't. It's a bus stop, in it. The race ends when your pigeon is in the loft, but Baz has locked the door and taken the key. You bastard, Baz. Right. Fluff, the baby pigeon, pigeon can let you in if you get lots of passwords. Oh, God, this is where I'm going to fucking fail. What is your pigeon's name? Homer. Look at your pigeon's name. Can you make any other words from the letters of the name? The new word must be at least two letters long. Push return after you enter a word. Yeah. Home. Well done, can you find them? Right. Rum. Yay! Can I find another? <laughs> yeah, more. Can I find another? Is Rem a word? Oh, hang on. Can I find another? Me? Yes. And. Ho, oh, no. And can I find one more? Is Rem a word? Uh, <laughs> no, it's not a Rem. Sorry, Fluff. Don't know that word. Ho? Is that a word? Yes! <laughs> yeah, of course it's a word. Alright, so. Okay. 
Hooray! Homer has won the pigeon race. Your pigeon has found the pendant, the ring and the bracelet and won the race. But there are still two stolen things to find. Now you must work out what they are. Blink will help you. Blink, flap, 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 flip, oh, flap, flip, flop. Hello, my name is Blink. This is flap. This is flip. And it's flop and flop. They are called carrier pigeons. We carry messages. We each have a message for you. Hope it's fuck off. Here is my message. The artist. Right. The artist something up the street mountain. Steep mount. The artist walked. Climbed up the steep mountain. The rain has washed off the words right the artist f climbed well it's climbed yes that's it your turn flap here is my message he he's something oh he s swam he saw a view he ran he swam what he swam a river, he saw a river, he saw a river, he view, he ran, and we can't run. Right, he s saw, right, okay. Yes, that's it, over to you, Flip. Right, the river looks like shit, um, it looked like, the river looked like as the sun shone over it. The river looked like water, the river looked like, looked like gold. The river looked like sparkle. Is it sparkle? It's got this. No, that make no sense. So it has to be like gold then. Yeah. Okay. Here is my message. The artist sat down and took a sh um, from his bag. The artist sat down and took a paint box, a rest, a camera, or a bridge. Paint box. Yes, shitbox. Right. Um. Right. There were clues in that in the messages about two stolen things. Now for the last clue. Oh God. Here is a poem. Be beastly Baz has mixed up the words. You have to sort them out. Oh God, no. Oh God. So a story is painted a gold is told the old lady's painting when the crooks stole her f what so what do I have to do then the story right so Fainted, the faint gold is told. Old lady, when the crook stole her painting, the old lady. Oh, hang on. The story is told. Hang on. Right, okay. The, the painting is painted. Right. Right, the painting is painted. The story is told. The old lady farted when the crook stole her gold. Right, okay. 
Yes, that's right. I hope you've guessed what the two stolen things are. The painting and the gold. Yes. The painting is painted. The story is told. The old lady fart painted when the crook stole a gold. So, painting. A famous painting. Okay. Gold. A bag of gold. Okay. A famous painting and a bag of gold. Well done. Now you have filled them. Good hunting. The painting and the gold are hidden in the cellars of the label hall. The label hall. Be quick. It's already there. They are the cellars. You start the cellar number one. Right. You may choose one thing to help you in the cellar, each cellar. If you choose the wrong thing, Baz may get ahead of you. Cellar one is very dark. Choose something to help. Um, a torch. Torch. Good. You can get to cellar two now. Cellar 2 has a deep hole. Choose something to help. A rope or a ladder. It's either a rope or a ladder. Yep. You have nowhere to tie it. Oh, so it's a fucking ladder then. Oh, damn it. You climb down the hole. You find the gold. Right. A high window leads to the cellar. To the cellar for choose something that I, a high window. Why well, it's got to be a, a high window ladder sack. It's got to be a ladder or a rope. Try a rope. You have nowhere to tie, so it's got to be a ladder again, surely. Well done, it's useful. All right, you can use the same thing twice. Okay. Above. You are high above the cellar. High above the cellar. Right. Oh, a plank. Oh fucking hell. You won't go through the window. It won't go through the window. You're high above the cellar. Um a ladder again? It won't go through the window. So it's a rope then. Right, it's a rope. You climb down into the cellar four. Hang on, you choose something. Right, cellar four is full of rats. Right, hammer, cheese. These are giant rats. They don't like. They don't eat cheese. They eat people. Oh dear, Baz got there first. You'll have to start. Oh fuck off. It's very dark. Torch. So it's just a fucking matter of remembering now. Right, okay. Do something to help. A ladder. Climb down to the hole. Right. Got the gold, okay. Choose a ladder again. Right. High above cellar four, that's a rope. Climb down to cellar four. Full of rats, right, a stick, a ladder, a sack, a hooter, candle, hammer, plank, rope, saw. So what the fuck would I use there then? A stick, a 
sack. A hooter. So it ain't cheese. They ain't afraid of a stick, so you gotta do all the fucking thing again. Alright, no you don't. Alright, a stick, a sack, a candle, a hammer, a plank, a rope, a saw. So it ain't cheese. A sack. Can't exactly hit him with a hammer, it ain't that sort of game, is it? Um They don't like the loud noises, they run away. Well done, you have reached cellar five. Okay. The painting is in a wood wooden box. Choose something that would help. Right. The plant the sack or a screwdriver. Right, it's a hammer. Why would you use a screwdriver to open the box? That might damage the painting. Screwdriver. Good. You'll need this to open the box. Right. The box is shaped like a cube. There are six screws on each side. How many screws are there all together? <laughs> oh God. Right, so a cube. Oh, six a cube, it's got fucking. <laughs> oh God. It's got six sides on a, on a cube, isn't it? It's got six sides on a cube. Can't be fucking bothered to fuck. Uh, I haven't got a cal calculator handy. <laughs> oh, you bastard! Six, six, twelve. Thirty-six. Famous painting and a bag of gold. God, fucking hell, I wonder why I failed at school. You are a super bastard. What? Ba you are super baz bastard. Beta, right. You have been chosen, t chosen to take part in the Great, Great North Run. It's about 21 kilometres or about 30 miles from Newcastle to South Shields. You must get ready for the run. How fucking long is this game? I'm supposed to be reviewing it, not fucking playing it all the way through. I don't know, it just seems intriguing. Before you go to the start of the run, you need to collect some things. Right. You need running shoes, money, your race number, a kiss from... What? Oh, ma'am. Kiss from ma'am, a metro ticket. Foot cream. You can travel to different metro stations to collect the things you need. Right. Where do you want to go? Home. <laughs> right, you must travel on the metro train. Where do you want to go? What? You have just enough money for a ticket. Where next? Sorry, not open yet. Good, here's your race number, 8317. How much money? <laughs> Might as well have 20 quid. Where next? Chemist. Never know, we might need some condoms. Foot cream, um. Five pound please, thank you, right, okay. I need. Mam's not ready to kiss you yet. Running shoes, fifteen pound, please. Oh, lucky we got enough. 
Ah, where are you going to go next? Home. Let's go. Mum gives you a good luck kiss. You need everything you need. Right, where next? Start to run. Oh, fuck it. I forgot my, rate, my, my number. Shit. Should have wrote that down. Ah, oh, bollocks. I've forgotten the number. No, that's not it. Oh, fuck it. And you got to do that all again. Oh, that's a bastard. That's a bastard. You have enough money for a ticket. Right. Where next? Run office. 8317. Right, let's write that down. 8317. Right, wrote that down. Okay. So, for God's sake. Where next? Let's go to the bank. What do you want? 20 quid. Right, let's go to the chemist again. Right. Where next? Shoe shop. Right, okay. Where next? Oh, fucking hell. Home! Right, so let's start a run. Right, okay. Good, you may join the run. I ain't got the runs. The race is about to start. You must, you must run to South Shields as fast as you can. You must try and stop Beastie Baz from escaping in his boat. He's in South Shields already. Can you run 30 miles before you six blisters? Oh fucking hell! Are you running to South Shields? North Shields? It's South Shields. Was there saw a saw? Was there a saw in the cellars? What? Is there a sack in the cellars? I don't know. Were there six cellars? What? Did you? Did the old lady fail? Yeah. Is tw right. Was the bracelet in the house? I don't think it was. What's the baby pigeon called Fluffy? Oh, I can't fucking remember. What's the pedant hidden in the attic? I think it was. Did the river look like silver? No, it was gold. Did your pigeon find the ring before the pendant? Uh don't think so. The gold... No. Do you need a race number to ride the Metro? No. Did the artist have a book in his bag? Uh, I don't know. Can't remember. No. Did Blink have four friends? Congratulations, you have run all the way from Newcastle to South Shields. Now try and catch the bastard. Oh God, when's this game gonna end? Quick, Baz is getting away in his boat. Search the caves to see if you can find something to help you. Which cave would you like to visit? Quiet, noisy or smelly? <laughs> this cave is quiet because nothing much lives in it. There is a red herring here. Do you want to take it? No. Which cave would you like to visit? The noisy cave. The cave is noisy because it has a lot of bats living in it. 
you can tell the bats what is is in the spinner. What? You, if you can tell the bats what's in the smelly cave, they will help. Well, I haven't been in there. I haven't been in the smelly cave yet. Sorry, but the bats cannot help you. Right, let's now go in the smelly cave then. The cave is smelly because it's full of seaweed. Fucking spell it wrong. Spell it fucking wrong, didn't I? See, damn. Bats got away this time. You need to try again. Right, okay. Don't tell me I got a fuck. Right, okay. Let's go to the smelly cave. See weed. Spell it right next time. Damn it. Good, they've given you a silver spade. Right, what am I supposed to do then? The cave is quiet because nothing much lives in it. That doesn't help. Right. The bats cannot help you anymore, so what am I supposed to do then? You dig up the seaweed with your silver spade. You find Sal the sea serpent. She will help you catch Baz. Hello, I am Sal the sea serpent. I can slide out and catch Baz, but you must help me through the rocks. Give me directions up, down, left or right, and I'll and and then tell me how many meters to move. Oh bloody hell. My head is one meter long. Alright. Oh, dear. Right. So right. How many meters? Five meters? Right. Down. Two meters. Right. Two meters. Up. One meter. Right. Three meters. Down. Three meters left, seven meters. I'm guessing. Oh, up two left, three down two. Well done, Sal. No escape for Beastie Baz. Hooray, you have beaten Baz at last. He won't get away this time. Being Beastie doesn't pay. Beastly doesn't pay. Not when Judy Racers are after you. I wonder what will happen to poor Baz now. I'm going to get arse fucked. <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> And, and that's the end of the game. Thanks for playing. Bye bye. Um, so what did I thought? Well, that was quite entertaining, actually. <laughs> um, well, now I've got to think about it. So I would a bit think about primary school here. So would have I would have I enjoyed that back in primary school? I probably would have played it. Um, probably would have enjoyed it um, back in primary school because you know it's like a text adventure. <laughs> It was pretty entertaining, actually. You put something so basic. It was quite entertaining. Um, 
I know this bloody review's gone on quite a lot. It would it's supposed to be more of a playthrough, if anything. But yeah, it's you know, it's basic you know, if I played that back in school, which I didn't, you know, I remember watching Look and Read back at school, so I probably would have found that quite entertaining to play back in the day. Now, you know, it was still, you know, for one for one <coughs> excuse me. As for one off sort of game, yeah, I thought that was quite fun. Um, you know, for kids, you know, I think I think you would have enjoyed it. Anyway, I'm going to end this now because it's gone on for 40 odd minutes. Bloody hell. Anyway, thank you so much for watching if you stuck it out. Till next time and goodbye.